very good. In my previous video, I have shared some information about the Gambian banknotes. I hope you liked it. For those of you who have not watched it, I will give the link below. Kindly watch it and give me a valuable comment on it. In my today's video, I am going to share some facts about Qatar and Dubai currency board banknotes. Qatar and Dubai currency board banknotes was issued in the year 1966 and was terminated in the year 1973. It was there in existence for a span of 7 years. This was a period of transformation of the Gulf states from British colonies to their independent governments. Before 1966, that is before the issue of these banknotes, Indian rupee and Gulf rupee was in existence. This was uh, introduced by the British mainly for the trade between India. It was a trade between Gulf and India. So it was very less common in uh, Gulf states and it was not much used by the local public. To solve this issue, Qatar and Dubai came up with an idea to uh, form their own currencies. That is how Qatar and Dubai currency board banknotes came into existence. Both Qatar and Dubai got its independence and formed their independent government in the year 1971. By then, Qatar and Dubai formed an idea of terminating the, the banknotes. That is how in 1973, uh, the banknotes issued in, uh, in 1966 was terminated. 1 real, 5 real and 10 real. This is the overall image of the currencies. Have a look at it. And this is the reverse image of the currencies. If you look at these currencies, these currencies have a very distinct color. One real is colored in violet and green. 5 real is colored in brown and then 10 real has a color of blue and grey. Design is almost similar for all the currencies but has a distinct color and also the size of the currencies increases as the denomination increases. Here also as you see the 1 is a little smaller than 5, 5 is smaller than 10. In the obverse of the currency you can see Two floral ornamental balls. One is located in the left, one is another is located in the right. When you look at the currency, there is a circular ornamental balls. Inside the balls, there is three images. The first image is the image of a ship. This is nothing but an Arabian sailing ship. It is called as dome. And next image is the oil rig. Oil rig is an equipment that is used to drill oil wells. And next is the palm tree. Right to the currency, there is another ornamental boss. Inside the ornamental boss, it is a clear ornamental boss that is left for a watermark. The watermark here is the Falcon's head. Falcon is the national bird of Qatar and Dubai. In the centre, there is Arabic script, which is, uh, which is written in a systematic order. The, the top post is uh, Qatar and Dubai currency board, board written in Arabic. Below that, the denomination 1 real is mentioned. And below that, uh, the legal uh, tender clause is mentioned. And, and to the extreme bottom, the signature of the chairman of the board is mentioned. The chairman of the board is Khalifa bin Hamad al Athani. And in the corners, 1 real is written in Arabic. When we look at the reverse of the currency, sim uh, similarly, there is an uh, ornamental boss uh, located in the left as well as in the right side. And the center, uh, one real is written in English. So if you see, all the three, uh, all the three currencies look very similar in design, as I already mentioned. But only thing is the patterns as well as the ornamental designs is very different. And it's very unique to the currencies. Only few currencies have survived till the day. That's why these currencies are highly priced and high demand and very rare. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, press on the like button and comment on it. And the new viewers subscribe to our channel so that you will get notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you want to shop this kind of uh, currencies, you can log on to www.banknotecoins.stamp.com. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Until then, bye from me.